so recently I uh, I dropped my MacBook and uh, pretty much everything stopped working. The keyboard cut out, the CD-ROM drive which used to be here cut out, and uh, I was pretty much up to the broken computer. And I figured it was time to buy a new laptop, and it probably still is, but I don't have money for it right now. So this video is about how to turn your MacBook on if you do not have the keyboard. Um, as you know, the power button is built into the keyboard. It's located just up here, but there's no actual physical button you can press on the inside of the computer. And without it, you're usually, most people at least, are left with a computer that does not turn on. Um, I searched online to find out how to turn my computer on. Everybody says it wasn't possible, but I figured I had nothing to lose, so I got out a screwdriver and started poking everything inside the motherboard to see if I could get the thing to turn on. And lo and behold, I did. So what you're going to need to do is, uh, is disconnect the keyboard from the computer. There's a bunch of screws along the sides. Um, there are online guys to find that. That's not my job here. My job is to show you how to turn the computer on. What you need is a standard dollar store flathead screwdriver. Um, I don't know the exact width and length on the end of this tip, but uh, it's nothing special. On the logic board here, you're going to see a small little rectangle area. That is actually where the keyboard plugs in. Um, you'll know that instantly because when you take the keyboard off, you'll see that's where it plugs in. You'll have to remove that. It pops out instantly. Um, it's really simple to turn this thing on, believe it or not. There are eight connector pins in here. You just have to complete the connection and your computer will turn on. So I'm going to show you how to do it. You want to stick the, screw, the screwdriver in there very gently. You do not want to be going in there and uh, poking at it extremely hard because you're going to screw this up. And you might end up breaking your computer and you'll never be able to turn it on. So you delicately put it in and wiggle it ever so slightly. And uh, it takes a couple seconds here to get it right. And there you go. And there my computer starts up normally. Um, you may be asking how I use it. Well, I just have a USB um, everything. I have USB keyboard, mouse, and an external monitor plugged in, so I use the computer as a desktop now. Um, as you can see, it'll boot up normally. Uh, it'll take me right to my uh, Mac OS desktop, and that is how you turn it on. Again, it's right there, that rectangle. I jam it in. Well, jam is the wrong word to use. I put it in on the left-hand side and wiggle it ever so slightly. I cannot stress that enough. Um, this definitely is not a long-term solution. I plan to buy a new computer soon, but for the time being, uh, it has definitely helped me. I hope this helps you, and take care.